Okay, so our next topic, we're getting into kind of the more the more complicated part of um, this part of the test, and that's when we're dealing with writing strategy and organization. So let's take a take a little stab at writing strategy. Okay, so writing strategy, or as I like to call them, the box questions, um, are going to be questions where you're asked to add information, delete information, uh, or tell us if something is consistent with the rest of the passage. The reason I call them box questions, for those of you who haven't done any uh, ACT practice before and have no idea what I'm talking about, is uh, when you're dealing with a English passage for the ACT, most questions you'll just have something underlined with a number underneath it, and that, and that number is next to uh, the passage and it'll say like, you know, 17 and you'll have options to change whatever it is that's underlined. For writing strategy questions, you're going to have a little box with the number in it, and you're going to read the passage until you see that box, then stop at the box and go over next to it, and you'll be answering questions. And the questions, instead of just simply, you know, how do you change this, are going to be the writer, you know, wants to convey X, Y, and Z. Should he or she add the following sentence? That sort of thing. Um, or it can also ask you things like, the writer had the goal of writing an essay about X, Y, and Z. Did he or did she achieve that goal and why? So these are a lot more complicated than your other questions because you're not just doing simple grammatical checks or very easy stylistic checks. You're kind of making sure that the author did an excellent job on everything that they were trying to do. So these are going to deal with things like tone. So, um, you know, is the tone, does the tone match the gravity of the situation? That sort of thing. Um, you're also going to be looking at uh, adding and deleting info. So um, that's pretty common. It's You're going to see definitely some of those on the test where you have to say, yeah, I want to add this and here's why, or, okay, no, I, I don't want that, or I want to get rid of that and here's why. Um, you also are going to be looking at the purpose. So, and that could be the purpose of the paragraph, the passage, a sentence, etc. And uh, the last thing you want to make sure is that you're uh, making sure that the author has some sort of consistency, so that the whole thing is consistent. So let's just run through those uh, for a second and make sure that you guys are completely okay on what they mean, because we're going to have to look at a passage in order to kind of fully examine these, because the questions themselves, you know, you need a passage in order to, to deal with them. So uh, the first thing would be tone. So a tone question would say something like, um, the author wants to inject a little humor into this passage at this point. Which of the following choices, if true, would best accomplish that? So you're going to have to look through the answer choices and say, okay, which of these is relevant? Because everything you pick is going to have to be relevant to the passage. And also, which one is, is funny? So you're going to add something that's relevant and funny in that sort of situation. Okay, adding and deleting information. This is a super, super common one. Um, this is going to say, the author is considering adding the following phrase at this point. Should he do it? And two of the answers will be yes, because, and two will be no, because. So you're going to decide first off, do you want that extra sentence in there? And then if you do want it, why do you want it in there? And the nice thing is sometimes you'll you'll be confused as to if you should add it or not, but then you'll look at the reasons why they're going to add it, and they don't make any sense. So you know that, you know, your original prediction might not have been spot on. Uh, the next kind, if you're looking for purpose sorts of questions, um, that's going to be like the purpose of this paragraph was primarily to, and you would say like, you know, explain the thesis, for instance. 
um, or the writer includes information here in order to, and again, the answer is why the author is writing. And then in terms of consistency, that's something that you have to keep in in mind for everything else, and um, because you want to make sure that whatever the tone of everything is, it stays the same unless there's a good reason for it to switch. So again, you could have something like, uh, which of the following choices, if true, is most consistent with the style of the rest of the passage? So you could have questions like that. And again, we'll go ahead and uh, do a passage together, so make sure you check out the practice for this because it's going to be very helpful in terms of fully understanding. But one of the tricks I can tell you guys up front is that for most people, and again, you want to double check if you are this kind of person or not by working on some practice tests, and for most people, if they ask you to add something in, most students tend to not want to add it in, no matter what. So please err on the opposite side of that. The idea when you're adding or deleting is that you want to add anything that gives helpful, relevant details. And you want to delete anything that's not relevant or helpful details. So I'm going to go ahead and write that down. So when adding or deleting, keep all relevant helpful slash interesting details. And err on the side of more details if they're relevant um, equals a good a good idea. So you want to have lots of, of good details. Okay, great. So the next thing that we're going to go ahead and look at is going to be organization questions. And these um, also are similar in that they're also box questions. So organization questions are going to deal with uh, paragraphs that are out of order or a passage that is out of order. So um, you're going to have to rearrange things. So paragraphs slash um, sentences, and you're going to put them in order. The great thing about these is that as soon as you look at the passage, you actually will be able to tell if there are organization questions in that passage um, in terms of rearranging things. Because with uh, paragraphs, you're going to see parentheses between sentences. So it'll say, you know, parentheses with a one, and then it'll be sentence one, and then two, you know, sentence two three, et cetera, four, et cetera. So as soon as you see parentheses around numbers, you know that there are two things they could ask you to do. They could ask you to rearrange, or they could ask you uh, where would the following sentence best fit in in this passage. So whenever you see those, you have two options. Um, the next kind is if you see brackets. That's going to be when you're looking um, when you're looking at the passage as a whole. So with the passage as a whole, you're going to see bracket one, and then paragraph one, bracket two, paragraph two, etc. So you'll see brackets right above each paragraph. And that, again, you're going to, most of the time, be rearranging things. So in this case, you'd be rearranging uh, paragraphs. And um, if they are going to have you rearrange all of the paragraphs, then they'll put a box with that question number at the very end of the passage. Okay, guys. Um, so I'll give you a couple seconds to you know, write down what's on the screen. But make sure that you go ahead and check out the next video, which is going to be practice on not only this video that we've just done, the rhetorical skills, but it's also going to be all of the grammatical errors that we went over in um, the usage and mechanics video. So all of the practice for everything in the English section is going to be on the next video, which is just going to be English practice. So um, make sure you check that out because it'll help 
it'll really, really help to be able to look at all of the things that we've just learned in the context of a passage. And, and it'll be set up the same way that you would have it on test day. Okay, everybody. Good job. And uh, I will see you guys on the practice video. Thanks, guys.